All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn intermediate CSS by building a cat painting. Step 34. So most cats have different colors in their ear and the inner ear, pardon me, and the inner part of the same ear, all right? Uh, we can implement the same too. That's why we defined a div element for both right and left inner ears a while ago. We sure did. Pardon me. So using a class selector, we're gonna give our, pardon me, cat left inner ear class element a left and right border of 20 pixels solid transparent each. And we're gonna also give it, give it, okay. We're gonna also give it a bottom border of 40 pixels solid with this color right here. All right. So we're just gonna take this stuff right uh, here. What are we doing? Border, cat left, border. Okay, so we're gonna do the border stuff. We'll just take it from this uh, semicolon on line 46 all the way to the front of line 44 like this. We'll copy it. Then we're going to highlight all of line 45, like 49, I should say like this. Well, it didn't work, but whatever. And it puts it in there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. why don't we just make a cat left inner ear selector while we're at it? So dot cat hyphen left hyphen inner hyphen ear like that. We're gonna have the uh, curly braces. Then I'll push backspace to get us to uh, the front of 50 and then boom like that. So now let's turn this into 20 right here. Actually, let's do this 20 PX and highlight it, copy it, paste it. This one is going to be 40. All right. And transparent, transparent is good. And we'll change up this right here to 3B, 3B, uh, 4F, like that. All right, and so now we've got this uh, big ear going on with the border bottom. Anyway, we got this thing going on. We'll change it up probably in the next few. Uh, let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 35 and we'll see you next time.